Welcome to week six of the SPL Pokemon Draft League. I'm PokeMD, coach of the LA Wakers, and we are taking on Seabat, coach of the Detroit Steel Wings. My team is currently three and two, which means if I win this game, I have a really good shot of making playoffs. But Seabat's Sun team is not gonna make that easy with this gouging fire and walking weight, as they're incredibly hard to switch into once Ninetales Drought is active. He also has other really strong Pokemon like Primarina, Mamoswine, and Sharpness Gallade, with Venusaur to double its speed in the sun, and Corviknight to tank hits from most of my Pokemon. Seabat Seabat also has three Terra Captains, an Electro that can terrestrialize into an Electric, Ice, or Grass type, a Shift Tree that can terrestrialize into a Dark, Ground, or Flying type, and a Greedent that can terrestrialize into a Normal, Ghost, and Fairy type. So if I want to win this week, I have to bring out the Anti-Sun Text, which is why we're starting off with a Choice Scarf Swamper, with Earthquake to pick up a surprise KO on Ninetales, limiting his Sun, or to a KO Mamoswine. But if I don't feel confident with Swampert in, I can flip Turn Out and bring in a new member. Stealth Rock lets me break Focus Sashes, and I have Yawn just in case Gouging Fire is on a Balloon or shook a berry and wants to try and set up. My next anti-sun tech is Trick Room Meteor Beam Deancey with a power herb, so Meteor Beam is only one turn. Meteor Beam at plus one does 76 to 90% to physically defensive Corviknight, which I believe he needs because of my Lycan Rock. But I also have Power Gem just in case my power herb is used up. And Moonblast lets me pick off Walking Wake as well as Gallade at plus one. Harvest Terra Fire Arbeliva is really good in this game, as Terra Blast allows me to deal with Corviknight, and being a fire type lets me take Flare Blitz or Heat crash from gouging fire, which I can 2 a KO with my earth power, and grass knot gives me a way of knocking out Mamoswine and doing a ton of damage to walking wake. My last move is endure with a custat berry. Harvest in the sun has a 100% chance to activate and endure will allow me to live one hit always, so I can repeatedly get custat berries and move before my opponent. My HP and defense lets me live one adamant max attack gouging fire's earthquake in the sun, and I went the rest in special attack. But if I terrestrialize into a fire type, hydro steam from walking wake becomes incredibly hard to switch into, which is why I have have Haban Berry Latias as the next Pokemon. My berry allows me to live a Dragon Move from Walking Wake or Gouging Fire and do a ton of damage back with Dragon Pulse. And I have Psy Shock to deal with Venusaur and break Primarina's Substitute. Light Screen can allow my Deancey to set up a Trick Room even on a Hydro Steam from Walking Wake, and I went with Healing Wish to recover one of my low HP Pokemon. I went with Choice Scarf Cinderace next to outspeed Pokemon like Walking Wake in the Sun and threaten it with some damage via U-Turn or Gunk Shot, which also allows me to deal with Primarina. Pyro Ball lets me smoke Corviknight and even and Mamoswine in the sun, and even though Chase only has one Stealth Rocker and Mamoswine, well, of Court change because I do not want Stealth Rock on my side for my last Pokemon, Focus Sash Lycanroc. Focus Sash Lycanroc gives me an out versus most of Chase's team, as Close Combat, Acelarock, and Sucker Punch hits the entire team for neutral or super effective damage. And with a Focus Sash, I can survive a move from Shift Tree and knock it out with that Close Combat, or set up a Swords Dance and knock out a Walking Wake with Adamant plus two Sucker Punch after U-Turn damage from Cinderace. It basically gives me an out to one of his threatening Pokemon. So that's my team for week six of the SPL Pokemon Draft League. If you do enjoy the Pokemon Draft League content, consider subscribing. My end of year goal is 500k and you can help me get there. Also, please make sure you check out Chase's channel. He is absolutely incredible and he is worth the watch. Lastly, I want to give a big shout out to Amo, Owen, Zazo, Dylan, Tone, Maverick Shooters, and Envy for all the help this week. I've held you up long enough, so let's get right into the battle. So here we are with week six versus my boy Seabat. Like I said before, if you enjoyed the draft content, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm on my way to half a million subs. You can help me get there sooner. Chase has a very scary team. We don't see a uh, the shift tree from him or Venusaur, but we do see Terra Greedent, which I wrote that it's Terra types, that way I don't forget. I'm gonna lead off with Scarf Swamper and see if we can have a little bit of fun from there. And I kind of wish I brought the other Arbeliva. But it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Check out Chase as well, please. His content's fantastic. He's such a genuine person. I absolutely love Chase. He's amazing. Please check him out. His channel will be down below. I think this matchup is really scary. So, Greedent is Terra Ghost, Normal, or Fairy? Let me, uh... Well, I have a screenshot here, so I won't forget that. And that's actually Ghost, so I won't call it Poison. And I won't call... I only messed that up with Poison and, and Ground and Normal. Whatever, man. I try my best. Ends up leading off with the Greedent here. As I lead off with the Swampert. Uh, I mean, Greedent could have Seed Bomb if it really wants to. Greedent does have Seed... I mean, yeah, it also has Bullet Seed too. Hmm. I don't want to switch into this monster. I really don't. I really don't want to switch into this monster. I can Earthquake it and then get a lot of damage off though. Because Earthquake does a good chunk. From Swampert to Greedon. I'm assuming Greedon's gonna be like max HP. Uh, Earthquake does 34 to 40%. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. It's definitely a Mon I don't KO very easily though. I'm just gonna Earthquake. Uh, 
He does terrestrialize. Let's let's pay attention to what Terra type he is. What Terra? Is it Ghost? Is it Fairy? It is Fairy. Okay, Fairy. Scary. Greedent's really good into me. So I'm willing to like sack this early to deal with it. Alright, good good chunk of damage. He ends up going for curse. Very, very, very scary. Curse. Uh, so it probably has Spadef EVs. Am I gonna get cooked by this? I mean, Meteor Beam does a good chunk from Deancey, and I could bring it back. Meteor Beam at plus one actually can KO. It does 76 to 90%. Uh, he could just be Spadef, though, as I mentioned. I also have Gunk Shot in the back. I think I'm gonna make the Deancey play here. Earthquake did not do that much to the Greedent. So we're going to have to go Deancey here. Uh, he is cursed, so I should be faster, ideally. And I also don't, hopefully don't die to... Oh, I won't die to a plus one Earthquake. So it goes for Facade. Cool. Curse, Facade. Uh, so my Earthquake did to Greedent... Let's say about the 34% range, I would assume. Let me see the HP bar. So that would be 25, about 30. So it's, it has a little bit more fizz def. That's not terrible. I think we just go right for Meteor Beam. Honestly, this mod's too much of a threat. Uh, please land, and I mean, best case scenario is you KO. I don't know if you'll actually KO, but I would love for you to KO. Please land, I hate Meteor Beam so much. I think I, I, think I landed because I'm looking at an animation. All right, we managed to deal with Greedent. Thank God. Oh my god! Deancey KOs Greedent. Alright, that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Now I am plus one. It's unfortunate because this is a really good late game sweeper as well into my opponent, but it's not the end of the world. I most likely have to switch. When this, I'm just glad that Mon's gone. I, I'm so serious. I'm glad that Mon's gone. That is a giant threat. And I do think I can healing wish this thing back later, maybe even get up a light screen or something like that and go from there. Um... That's just big. That does 76 to 90 if it's just max HP. So I'm hoping that's what he was. But good job, Deancey. You picked up a threat. Honestly, you did really good. Good job, fam. Good job. Now, other threats include Walking Weight, Gouging Fire, and Gallade. Let's see how we deal. Honestly, I'm not sure. Alright, so Walking Weight comes out. I do have... Mm, do I even die to Walking Weight non-specs? If it's not Specs, it actually doesn't KO if it's not Specs. That's very funny. Spe non Specs doesn't KO. But I should not risk this thing being Specs. I mean, it came out. I'm going to make the Latios play. See what we can do from there. Uh, I'm very scared. If he Dracos into Deancey, very good play. But yeah, uh, non Specs does not KO me. So, well, I want to find out what this thing is. Latias, the C, Hydro Steam. Well, the flip turns. Yo, I could have actually KO'd him. Could have actually KO'd him there. So, I'm assuming he's going to get up the Sun now. That's what I would do if I was him. I would definitely get up Sun. Or I'd go out into Gallade. Gallade's not bad. It can go for Night Slash. It can go for Knock Off of its Scarf. Uh, they can also go Corviknight. I guess Corviknight's not bad. Let's me U-turn, though, into Swampert. Walking Wake has flip turn. I really want to stay in. But, I mean, if they went Corvina, I guess it doesn't matter anyway. I need rocks up so I can actually do damage, too. That looks like Gallade. That's Corvina. My bad. Apologies. I'm going to make the Swamper play here. Um, just on U-turn, most likely. It gives me a potential Earthquake as well on something. Any bit of damage on Walking Wake and Corvina lets my Sash, Lycanroc, put in work. So let's see what he wants to go for. I also can threaten him with a yawn. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to go for U-turn as well, though. But we'll see if he Brave Birds into me. Tailwind. Mmm. Bro, that's threatening. Especially with that Gallade in the back. I'm going to... I'm going to... The thing is... It's probably faster than me. It has 400 speed. I have 339. 
Actually, no. It has double speed, so I should be slower. So I can actually go for... Well, it doesn't have to have any speed on it. Oh, there's a chance I'm not slower. I'm gonna go for flip turn here. I can't let Galay come in for free. Yeah. Sucks there, but I best, basically can't let Galay come in for free. It's not Rocky Helmet, though. Perfect. Tailwind... I'll go Ace because I'm Scarface. I do reveal that I'm Toy Scarf, but that flip turn did absolutely nothing to Corviknight either. It's Body Press. Cool, 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 cool. So I can actually U-turn on this Mon as well. So Body Press to my Cinderace if it's max defense. Uh, 301 to 187. Not bad. It's 114, which means it is basically fully Fizz Def. Uh, Brave Bird does not KO me. Talon's really cool. I'm going to go for U-turn here, though. I'm expecting it. Ugh. I keep forgetting my, I keep forgetting that I'm Scarf and I could have picked up the KO there, but I didn't expect him to stay in, just in case. Unfortunately, I revealed my set, but that's okay, because he actually still struggles with Swamper being in. Body press. He probably went for U-turn then. Yep, U-turn, body press. Oh, he's probably Roost. That means I can get up rocks. I keep forgetting my choice Scarf, man. But it was better to be in with uh, Swamper than anything else, I think. I think it's still better to be in with Swamper. So if rocks go up, they're there to stay. I don't think it'd be Defog on Corviknight last. But again, I'm really worried about Gallade setting up for free. Which is what Asta has to be Gallade. Yep. Alright, Mr. Leaf Blader. How much turns do you have left? One turn to Tailwind. I'm definitely just going for Earthquake. You can Leaf Blade me all you want, buddy. He goes for Sacred Sword. If it's Bandit, it picks up a KO. It does not pick up the KO on me. Perfect. And we get massive damage off on Gallade and Tail when Peter's out. That's amazing. Actually amazing. We can go for another Earthquake here. I don't know if he was paying attention to my Swampert's item, but... Pert living that was incredible. Yeah, he's going to switch out. Perfect. So that's in range of Sucker Punch now. I don't have to worry about that. If Corviknight comes out, that's not a big deal. Corviknight coming out is not a big deal. It's Body Press, Tailwind... I don't know if it's Iron Head last, but... I will always switch. And by that, I mean I'm going out into Arbaliva. I think Arbaliva has the best shot right now. Right in on this. Because I think you go for another Tailwind. Oh, just U-Turns. U-Turns not bad. U-Turns not terrible. U-Turns not terrible. Let me see how much my Swamper took from that Gallade. Gallade. They did a billion percent to Gallade. Or believe, uh, Terra Fight. My Swapper just barely lived. I don't think it took that much damage prior either. But if he goes Nine Tails, that's better for me. So he goes for U turn there. If he goes Nine Tails, that's better for me. How much does Body Press do to Lycan Rock? Oh, that's the, that's the Demon. No booster on it. I'm just going to terrify and go for Earth Power here for sure. Can't let a Dragon Ace up for free. The Dragon Claws, I'll live a Dragon Claw. Let's see. Gouging Fire. If he Earthquakes immediately, that's a great play as well. Which has a shot at knocking me out. That's if he's Max Attack Adamant. Let's see. Goes right for Earthquake. Great play. Oh, and I go right down. Fantastic play by Chase. Fantastic play by Chase. Beautiful play by Chase. Legit amazing play, bro. Hmm. I'm going to go pert. I want to get up rocks. Which may be a misplay, but I do want rocks to try and win the game late game. Because I think Corvin I can come out for free. I want to try and win the game late game. That was a great Earthquake play, bro. Great Earthquake play. It was a roll to knock me out, but he got it. I can't even be mad. That was just a great play, bro. Yeah, he does switch out. Perfect. So we do get up rocks. If he's choice, this is going to be really good for the late game uh, SD Gallade sweep. Walking weight comes out. I'm okay with that. I'm definitely okay with walking weight coming out.
I don't really have a switch in, so... Yeah, I need the damage on Wake. I need to be able to SD. Lycanroc in front of Corviknight. Physically defensive. Body press actually doesn't even take me down. So plus two... Plus two to Corviknight to 66, 70 something percent. I think I sack this. Okay, let's fi So we find out he's most likely not choice. If it's Flipter, I doubt it's agility. So we go for Hydra Steam. Perfect. Actually perfect. Like legitimately perfect. So what I'm going to do here is it might sound a little weird. But I need U-turn damage on it with Ace in order to knock it out later with a plus two. In order to knock it out later with plus two Sucker Punch. So I'm going to go Ace right now. I'm going to go for U-turn just to get that chip. Even if he Dragon Pulse, this is fine. But I need that U-turn chip. Put it in that range. I really do. This also guarantee puts it in range of Moonblast and things like that. So I really need that chip right now. Because I do have a Focus Ash, so I should guarantee get a plus two into something. And I'm not even sure what he switches into. Yeah, he, good. He lets me get the damage off. Perfect. Perfect. All right, that's plus two Sucker Punch range. Good for Lycan Rock. And I can go Lottie. Lottie eats the hit. Lottie doesn't care. Lottie eats the hit and does not care. There's a Hydro Steam. 337 to 259. Walking Wake, Hydro Steam. That's 78, which is Specs. I think at this point, I just throw off a Dragon Pulse. Yeah, he does stay in. Okay, he expected me to overpredict there. So that's a great turn. Walking away going down is great. That is a great turn right there. Actually, an amazing turn. On Corviknight, I think I could just get a Trick Room. I, 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 I figured he would try and overpredict there too. Or I, I went for the safe play. I, I wanted to double to Cinderace, obviously, right? Doubling the Cinderace, obviously, is great. But we could not afford to double to Cinderace because we could lose the game. So I think what I do here, all we could lose the game if he did that play, which I'm assuming he just Hydro Steamed again. I think I always go Dancy on this Mon. It should be Tailwind, Body Press, U-Turn, Roost. Body Press from Corviknight? Physically Defensive. Doesn't do crap to Dancy. Max Defense, Body Press doesn't do crap, bro. It does 68 damage. So I just trick him up and click Meteor Beam after. And then we try and Deancey Cook. And then I SD up with Lycanroc. With, if it's Default Glass, that's fine too. If he U-turns, uh, Deancey being in is good into basically everything. But I almost have this thing in range. I almost have everything down. There's a Defog. Okay, wait. It's just Defog. That's amazing. So it doesn't have Roost. That's okay. It's Trick Room time. It's literally Trick Room time. It goes for Body Press. Perfect. Get up a nice little Trick Room, and we get to Meteor Beam, which gets a KO. It takes two turns, obviously, but it does pick up the KO on Corviknight, and it also kills Galade, too. He basically can't switch into something this turn. So we always go for Meteor Beam here. It does 76 minimum to Corviknight, and that looks like 76%. So we get up a Meteor Beam. This is going to allow us to, like, knock out things like Galade and stuff, too. Special Attack Raise. Body Press isn't going to do crap. And then Meteor Beam should kill this turn, provided we do connect. Again, provided we do connect. That's what matters the most. He could sack Gallade, though. I would like to hit Gallade, though. I real, I'm, I'm being honest, I would really like to hit Gallade. Just to get some damage on him. But if he gives me Corviknight, I'm okay with that, too. I'm gonna drink more water. Nine tails would be good, too. I can't believe I'm playing a Sun team and Sun has not come up. But to be honest, I've had rock types and ground types in, so it makes it. This kills. Sorry, buddy, you're dead. Goodbye, my child. Deancey picking up another KO. Let's go. I freaking love Deancey. Especially into like scary matchups like Sun. It's such a good anti Sun Mon. Okay. That is Ninetales. That's the only Mon that hasn't come out yet. So it has to be Ninetales. Sun comes out. I think I have. I am being called in the Fortnite call. Sorry, buddy. We ain't dropping anywhere today. 
Two turns of Trick Room left. All right, Power Gem's my play. It's plus one. Picks up the KO on Ninetales. Perfect. Okay, Latias. Mmm. Deancey. Deancey. He has to sack Gallade here. Really? Was he trying to go for broke with Gallade then? Which, which boost is it? Which boost is it? It's attack. I guess he's going to go out into... He's either trying to go for broke with Gallade. No. Dude, this is plus one. I think you die. Yeah. Oh my god. Deancey. I think he miscounted Trick Room. He thinks maybe there's one more turn. Deancey going crazy. Oh my god. One, two, three, four KOs. Four KOs. It's just ass to left. But this is like not even pre time skip. This is like baby Asta. This is like Asta when he was born. I would just moon blast here. Always. I think he should have sat Gallade first and then tried to done something with the gouging fire. But between Latias' Dragon Pulse, Sash Lycanroc, and Scarf. My Scarf homie, I think I'll be good. Maybe he just didn't. He was Scarf on Gallade, and I, mean, I don't even know if it was banned. I'm going to be honest. I'm not that great at those immediate calcs. But this. Should be a win, guaranteed. Actually, it is a win, guaranteed. Uh, whether it's a 4 or 3 though, is up to Chase, what happens here. Can't, he can't do anything. He could endure for a Salic, but that's not going to help him. I could have Trick Room there, but making most of my Pokemon slower than Gallade seems like a very stupid play. So he goes for Sacred Sword, picks off Deancey. He did just get the Gallade, by the way. So goes for Sacred Sword. I believe all I got to do now is go out into Cinderace and click U-Turn. And U-Turn should pick up the KO. So Chase tried to make a really aggressive play with Walking Wake. And I completely understand it because I was thinking about doubling the Cinderace. But I was terrified of doing so just because of the set he ran. So we're able to U-Turn out of there. And that should be a win. And that means we are... Yep! That means we are 4-2. Trick Room Meteor Beam Deancey went absolutely stupid this game, man. It went so stupid. That Greedent, if he had done that late game, he might have messed me up. Like, actually, well, then again, if Sun ever went up and I hit it with a Pyroball, I'll do a lot. But that greeted was crazy. But I'm very happy. So we're 4-2. And, and next week, we fight Hayden. And then last week, we fight Uzi. But 4-2 and two with pretty good differential means that we should be set for playoffs now at this point. So, ha! To everybody, I said I wouldn't make playoffs. And before I get 6-0 twice, though. And then I don't make playoffs. But that was a good one. Deancey went absolutely stupid. I'm very happy about that. I hope you guys all enjoyed Leave a like, sub. I'm going to hit up Chase so we can do a nice little interview. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. I can't believe I messed up all the speed tiers because of my choice scarves in the beginning too. But I'll see you guys in a bit later. I get his idea behind the team. Tailwind into Gallade is actually broken into me. I think he could have tried Agility Gallade though to do the same thing with a Life Orb. But Tailwind and Gallade was really cool too. So I'm going to hit up Chase if he wants to do an interview and we'll be right back. So I'm here with Chase Seabad, the only person in this entire draft league to mess up my Arbaliva. Just the turn it comes out. Big Chase. How you feeling, bro? That was a fire play, dude. That earthquake was I mean you're banded. You obviously. know, I, I tried to I, I tried to try tried to make some plays, tried to make some reads, some played off, you know, some didn't, like the uh uh you know, uh the, the walking wake into yeah. the Dragon Pulse play. You know, we talked about that kind of being a little half and half. Uh I thought mean, that would play out. It dude, didn't. I, I was um, I wanted to go Cinderace so badly, but I was scared to go ace. You know, I was scared. No, to I, I, no, I totally get it. I'd be, I'd be scared. Walking Wake's a monster, you know. Yeah. Um, I, uh, but, but yeah, no. With, uh, with the Arb Oliva coming in, I was like, okay, he's gonna be fired. Like, there's no way you bring this thing in, <laughs> and you're not on Cor terrified. On Corvina, like, yeah, was, yeah. It was pretty telegraph. You know, it's not my best play. No, no. I mean, I mean, it was what it was. So the, the, the endure there. Like, if you would have endured, what, would it? Would you just click raw earth power in front of me? Uh, in front of uh in that one. Gouging fire. Yes, yes, I clicked raw earth power. Oh, so I, man, that, I, if you if you actually would have cut step, so I'm I'm a big I'm a big cut step berry hater. Shout out Addison, I'm a huge <laughs> cut step berry hater. She's been pushing like a big cut step propaganda in the, the PPL recently, and I'm like I, I just am not good enough player to bring cut step berry. It's good. If it's, I would have lost gouging fire, oh, I mean yeah, in the right situations, I'm just I'm just you, you you know how you say a guy like me, a guy like me would never bring cut step. <laughs> I I do not. Like if you would have endured Earth powered my gouging fire and I got cut step buried, I'd game game gone. Bye. I would I would have forfeited. Yeah, I would have been banned from the league. I'd have gone back to Minecraft. <laughs> not the Minecraft. Wait. Not Minecraft. I, I I retired all the way. Oh, it's over. 
Uh, not even Pixelmon, bro. Not even like Cobblemon. Just straight up Minecraft. Not even Pixelmon. Nope, nope. I'm selling all the selling all the Pokeballs. <laughs> we're we're gone. If I got Endure, if I got as much hate as as much smack as I've talked about Custat Berry between both draft league seasons, if Gouging Fire would have got Endure Custat Berry, no, nope, game over. <laughs> Yeah, it was like, uh, so I had a really cool Gouging Fire set, and I guess I won't be using it versus anybody in finals, or, fi wow, wow, at uh, playoffs, excuse me, that is very... It's, it's scripted, it's scripted. <laughs> so uh, my original Gouging Fire, uh, my original Arbeliva set, excuse me, was uh, Growth, Flail, Terror Blast, and Durkust at Barry, because at plus two, it KOs Gouging Fire, KOs, basically KOs everything that it shouldn't be, and then obviously Terra Blast hits the Corviknight, but I was like, yo, this is too, this might it's be too, too yeah, this is too spicy for me, especially in a, a week where I, I actually need the win as well to keep going right. forward, so I was like, ah, you know what, let me just throw three attacks, I believe it would endure, it felt better. Uh, Grass Knot's insanely powerful too. I felt like you couldn't bring Primarina versus me because like you're weakening your Primarina's water moves, which are pretty good into me. Like Moonblast is good, yeah. don't get me wrong, but like you don't want to weaken it. And I feel like you definitely want to take advantage of Sun, even though you not using Sun and also this Tailwind. Can we talk about this Tailwind messing me up? I <laughs> I brought out two Scarfers versus it, expecting to be slower and outsped, and I forgot what Ace. I was like, okay, cool. I'll you turn on the Walking Weight coming. No, just straight up. Both times, I got nothing off. I, I love the, I love the tailwind into uh, banded gouging fire. I'm assuming that was the end game you were thinking about. That was kind of so. I, I knew you were gonna go super hazards again, but you've got you've got some great hazards hazard setters with like you know, Swamper, DNC, Lycan Rock. Uh, you have one more rocker, I feel like. But either way, you have some very reliable hazard setters that against Sun, like you should just auto set. Like you should just go into it in mind. Like one of my Pokemon is gonna have Stealth Rock, so. If I didn't get an opportunity to get Sun up for um, like Walking Wig, Walking Wig gets a speed boost in the Sun. The way yeah. it's built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that that was another one. Was just like Tailwind for Walking Wake support, Tailwind for Gouging Fire support, uh, Tailwind for for Gallade support. It is Scarf, but as we saw in the end game, there Scarf Ace outpaces me. Yeah. Uh, but if I had a Tailwind up, it was a it was a different story. Different story, there, story right? yeah. You know, for sure. Differential point. So just kind of support. I mean, Roost could have been there for longevity, but I felt like the first the first mode was Tailwind into Gouging Fire, and then I as I just kind of played around with it. I was like, yeah, you know, if the, I don't have Sun, I still get a speed boost on Wake. You know can make Galley just a little bit faster as well. Yeah, makes sense. I was going for, I mean, you see my Sash on Lycanroc. The, the reason I went mm -hmm. like Ace on it specifically is because if I U-turn on it, it dies to plus two, sucker. So I was going mm -hmm. for that end game. Because I after I got messed up by Gouging Fire, I was like, okay, he's super offensive to KO me from there. Or it was a roll if he's not like choice or anything. Like it, it's a roll to KO me outside of Sun. And if your choice bent, it's guaranteed, right? You're, you're Gouging Fire. It's hard as hell. Um, it is. But, yes, yeah, so I was like, okay, I'll U-turn, and in the end, I should be good, because what I thought you would do is you would sack Gallade and then try and gouging fire me, but you being choice man makes way harder. You actually can't make that play, because right. you can't click anything. You can't click Dragon Claw, which could sweep my team in theory. You can't. He crashes in good into Lottie or Lycan Rock. Like it's not gonna kill. It might. Maybe it kills Lycan Rock. I have no idea. Yeah, it, 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 might, it might kill. It might kill Lycan Rock. But uh, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna power jump here. Even if he goes back out to Galade, Galade's a, a slow enough HP that plus one power jump should knock it out. And um, yeah, like I, I had found like the second I saw Body Press and I ran the Calc and I saw U turn default or I saw U turn. A tail and I was like, okay, maybe it's last move roost. It wasn't. So that's where also Lycan Rock endgame kind of became more and more like apparent just because I'm also adamant. So I do a lot of damage and I figured I could right. even get like uh, two SDs potentially because mm -hmm. I won on Gouging Fire. And I mean, if, if I SD in front of Gouging Fire, I, I KO something, period. Right. And if you go right. Corviknight as I SD, I SD again because I've already confirmed you're not Rocky Helmet. And then I win the game with. Uh, close combat into a cellar rock into a cellar rock type of thing so that was like kind of what i was going for at the end that greedent scared the crap out of me bro when i saw <laughs> it in the beginning i was like so that that, that greedent is i had a hard time figuring out how i was going to build against lead ace and lead lycan rock yes uh so that is that is meant to take a non-banded gunk shot or a non-banded iron head from mm. Lycan Rock, mm -mm. get a curse up, live the next attack because of Citrus Berry and Cheek Pouch, and knock out the lead. That's the, that's where that build specifically comes in because it was just it, it, it I, I couldn't find one Pokemon to handle them both. So I'm like, ah, let's bring the Squirrel again. Why not? If I literally did not hit Meteor Beam, I probably got six would 
<laughs> I am so. If I didn't hit meteor beam, I most likely got six o. I was actually praying that no, it hits. No, you had, you had, you had, uh, you had, you had, you had sash sd lichen rock. That, yeah, that with a cellar rock as my best move into a curse max. The bro, I literally got six o. I think you'd have been fine. I, you know, not to, not to say, you know, I wouldn't have won that if you missed it, but no, you uh, would have. Think about it all night. No. <laughs> you would have definitely won. No, that. I think if you had scarf gung shot too. I mean, gung shot would have been doing damage. Yeah, and then you. And then it you would have been a closer win. match. Yeah, it'd have been a yeah, closer match. A closer match. Yeah, I would. For... I would have. If Joey, if Joey would have missed his move, you won instantly. I would have just, you know, I, I would have just won. You know, it's like. Uh... Uh, every other game we play where if it's just something went different, I won all the time. Okay, but I'm just saying, just straight, like, Meteor Beam is a move that you, you do expect to miss a lot. I, it's 90. What's the accuracy? What's the accuracy? It's 90. 90. Okay. Yeah, that's the... Okay. 90 this we're not, are the we're fakest not moves in the world. We're not Drew out here missing air slashes. 5% chance, okay? Bro, I miss, I miss I, Ceaseless Edge. I might edge. miss a 12% chance on Leaf Blade earlier this season, but you're not missing a 90% <laughs> accurate move. You're okay. Hey, man. I'm just saying, 90... Sucks. Somebody in the comment section better say something about Choice Scarf Sunny Day Gallade there in the back. Like, no, I love it. I love, I it. I love a, it, by the way. I, I freaking could not love it. find a fourth move to save my life. And yeah. I was like, you know, if, if the Nine Tails isn't around, then I just need to make a sack. Like, why not? No, I think this is best. I actually, I like I like this a lot. I even think Corviknight could have had Sunny Day over Tailwind, but I understand why you have Tailwind because you have Choice Band Gouging Fire and not uh, like a random speed boost or Dragon Dance or anything. Right. So I like Tailwind more. I love Sunny Day last. Um, I mean, you could argue for Trick, but I think Sunny Day actually gives you a lot of value. Like, if it's Ace into like Latias at the end instead of knocking me out if I have like Latias plus like Cinderace instead of knocking me out uh, with Gallade um, you would click Sunny Day hopefully I kill you and then you just go like Gouging Fire click Dragon Claw twice like so it's it's yep. no uh, Sunny Day makes a lot of sense and I like it a lot I like it a lot it's a very offensive thing and Thanks, I, man. And I, li I love the idea behind Greedent too I think that's a great way to use um Pokemon, especially lower tier Terra Captains, like just lead off with them or just in general, just use a Pokemon to break, do throw it away. Right? Yeah. Like make Literally. them work. Yeah, like, exactly. You can't, like, like you wouldn't have thought, you know, that like, like in all, in all your prep, you know, max attack, max defense, greedent. I would not. Uh, with curse was not, was not, you, it, it, it makes it so hard to prep. You know, you can, you can prep for, all right, worst case scenario, gouging fires bandit, worst case scenario, you know, wake scarf, stuff like that, yeah. you know? Um, you, you can't predict Terra stuff. I endure Terra. I mean, we can talk about it now after the fact. We both got whimsicotted by Gator. Yes, we uh, did. You just don't. You just you just don't see these. Uh, you know, you can have it on paper in front of you on a sticky note and says it is this Terra option. And somewhere in the back of your mind, it's still such a a, a an unknown mechanic that it makes it so hard to prep for. You know. No, I I agree. I, I agree. I um one of the one of the greetings I fought was Belly Drum Last Resort. That was really fun. That was really, really fun to fight. Uh, just another, uh, a very scary one. Like there was just a lot. I like, think Greedent is just in general. I think Greedent's a great Pokemon. Like I actually, I actually really think it's a no. Well, I think it's annoying in draft. I wouldn't say great, but it's annoying. Cause I, when you let off with it, bro, I was like, crap. Is he gonna have Seed Bomb or Bullet Seed too? Like, there's so many things that could have went wrong. Turn just, just one. SD loaded dice, Greedent right out the gate. Yeah, dude, that, that's why I think it's great. Like, I, that's also why, like, I love, like, lead Lycan Rock. Would, would, I, like, I'm Sash on mine, but it was never supposed to be a lead. It was, that's why, because you, you, you're Rocker, you only have uh, Mammoth Swine now, I think. Yep. Yep. yep, yep, yep. So I have Scarf Cinderace to always court change in a way, keep my Sash for Lycan Rock to help me, you know, deal with Wake, help me deal with Gouging Fire, etc. Uh, so, like, this guy just clicking SD is really, especially if it lives a hit. Focus Sash just think you have the, the Cheek Tops with Citrus. It, it's very scary and very hard to deal with. So I love that. I love I love the click, uh, the quick setup, excuse me, and and to trying to break. Uh, again, that walking wake turn was pretty big. Me getting the dragon pulse. And I think if I didn't get the U turn, I actually didn't kill you if I didn't get the U turn damage off. So it also was a, a big thing as well because I have I no. You were, you were max. You were ma yeah. I was gonna say you were max HP. So yeah, that yeah. would have been yeah. Yeah, like legit. Okay. So, so like even that like potential mistake or well, miss. You could argue to misplay, but like I, there was a super strong case that I went. Uh, Especially because you didn't have recovery on Corviknight, I think that's also makes it harder, right? Like, yeah, that was that that was probably I don't know if it was a mistake on my end at the end of the day. I I, I still stand by the set. You know, I like the I like the body press, just overall neutral coverage against your team. Um, maybe over U turn, but I feel like U turn kind of helped. No, you need for Tailwind. Good, you need, yeah, on. yeah, you needed U turn yeah. for Tailwind as well. I would have also maybe argued. Um, no, no, no. You have you have enough speed. You're actually still slower than like like in Rocks and Race and stuff like that naturally too. So that's mm -hmm. big as well, uh, but yeah, I, I know I would have like I like this idea behind the set because again, it the idea behind this is just to open up for gouging fire and that, and I like that a lot, like behind it, 
and oh, freaking Dancy, thank you for hitting. <laughs> I, I'm just having flashbacks <laughs> to Greedent. I'm literally thinking about Greedent. I'm like, yo, this this set could have swept me immediately, bro. Actually, like insane set, dude. I freaking love it. I really love it. I thank love. You. Thank I, you. It, it was it was a it was a it was a master class on uh, on how to build with Greedent. I. Uh... I, I definitely am glad that I grabbed this over over Dunsparce at the the beginning during oh, the, for the sure, little dude. free agent period. For sure, for sure, agreed it way better. I'm excited to see what you do with Galade as well. Um, this mod Bro, hits I, really I, hard. I, I'm upset that I just got it. Um, you know, no no discredit to the people who've helped me like bounce ideas off during team builders and stuff like for those free agent transactions. Yeah. But like Galade was one of those right out the gate that I I love I love the sharpness ability. Oh, so I think that's good, such dude. a good such a good ability did you see how much um, you did the swamper with sacred sword like your scarf yeah. no it's 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 disgusting it's absolutely disgusting like sacred sword barring like a max defense lottie was just like running places yeah. um but like one of the big things that i want to try with it is in the sun running solar blade Ooh. Solar blade gets the sharpness boost as well yeah yeah it's like 180 base power yeah. or something right yeah yeah. It, 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 yeah it's all of a sudden just i mean like there's no you have to have like an immunity in order to legit, legit. So, dude i, I so really we'll, want to we'll see you see. use agility i really want to see you use agility life hey, agi form. oh my god agility agility galate is a is a is a pipe dream but imagine we left, i'll probably end up bringing it yeah i mean dude imagine we end up oh, bringing like this terror oh <laughs> 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 Yo, i think we would have <laughs> 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 we might have banned that mid-season like if i'm being completely honest this i would have oh, yeah 100%. this would have been oh, yeah. if, dude, got, if, you, if we put this at nine oh yeah no it was bro if this was at nine points this was my Per, my my like my grab number one 100 percent. this is grab number one if this is a nine points and Terra, grab number one for sure there's it's too good it's too good you tear a fight just to get the stronger sacred sword and you're actually two killing all the resist you're already two killing the resist anyway like i love this month i um i'm excited to see like i said the rest of the season uh, what was the uh thought process on no mammal swine like just the uh, um, the plethora of water types me. um plethora of water types really you know i i dugong yeah i i feel like i feel like as an actual like cas casual mid casual viewer of yours that like you're gonna try to use all of your pokemon once i you am know? you're 100%. Um, exactly exactly I see am. so like you don't draft them if you don't plan on using them so a lot of the waters um you know i had a hard time had a hard time breaking swamp where it already ran uh freeze dry mammal once this season so i wasn't sure if you'd think about that mm. um scissor scissors just a, a monster um I have a bad historical matchup against you with Thunder Hysterian and offensive ice type, yes. so I wasn't yeah. sure. Um, but it then, was you know, Dugong, Dugong as well, our Balava, you yeah, know, depending yeah. on the set on that. So, fair, fair. Um, so, so really, that's kind of what it boiled down to. Um, was just, you know, I, I didn't want to bring my ice type against the Thunderous again two seasons in a row. So, <laughs> but that, 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 that's kind of Scissor was probably the biggest deterrent, quite honestly. Cind fair. Scissor, and then I feel like Banded Ace played really well into my team. Yeah, it was Sun a, boosted moves. Yeah, very good. I, into I, you. Well, Sun Sun boosted Pyro Ball, but I don't have a, a natural Ghost type unless I Terra Greedon. So oh, so High Jump Kick as well. Throw, throwing throwing High Jump Kick. So yeah. I'm just, I mean, I can protect once, sure, can't protect twice. Yeah, uh, yeah, every single time. So I, I, it just, it just did so much damage to my whole team. So I was like, eh, let's, let, let's just go against it. Makes sense. I, I, I get it. I get it. Uh, like, I feel like also if you brought Memo, if it wasn't like Sash lead, it'd be like Assault Vest would be something you would lean towards just because of the, like as a Lottie pivot. But even then, I don't know how great it would have been into me. Like, well, did, uh, didn't it get, didn't it get like Aura Sphere and stuff too this gen? Yeah, Lottie did get Aura Sphere. Yeah, yeah, it gets Aura okay, Sphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so it has options yeah, that. I mean, it's just all, all the all the coverage that's available for it. Just It, it just didn't seem, you know, like in Rock being able to outspeed it. Um, I just felt like there were a lot of other good Makes ones sense. that you had that were either good answers or as soon as I take one thing down, you have an answer right in the back there. Yeah, that's. I think that's very fair. Like, even Arboliva KOs, like, Mammal Swine through Assault Vest with Grass Knot, like, that's, which yep. is pretty nasty. So, I, I, okay, I absolutely get that. Is there anything from me that you... Uh, really was expecting me to bring that i didn't you know honestly um i had in my so I, I figured i figured ace was coming i figured one of your rock types was coming both yeah. rock types kind of hurt me a little bit but uh it is what it is um i really i really anticipated max max thick fat dugong this week dude honestly it was the, it was it the only could... thing that took a I, I i had before i just went banned on gouging fire i was trying to work with like a dragon dance three attack set mm. dugong was the only pokemon that consistently was three hit ko'd if I got to plus, I needed to be at like plus two or plus three before any moves started, started knocking out Max Max. That's actually so funny. It, I was, I was very, you know, I had some, I had some consultation with a fellow gouging fire user and he's like, Hey, 
can't go wrong with the band. And I'm like, you know what? That's, that's very true. I, I no, I agree. I think but, you but should, I, uh... I thought Dugong was I thought Dugong was 100 percent coming just as I just because of that. Yes, I I'll be honest. If I wasn't three and two, if I was a little bit more comfortable, I would have probably <laughs> I would have probably brought Dugong. Um, but no, I, that's fair. That's fair. But, but I also it's think like, race. yeah, Gouging Fire is, it is a really close race. Gouging Fire is here. Hayden has some crazy Pokemon. And Uzi has some crazy Pokemon. So uh, you know me. I am going to bring all my Pokemon, right? I'm only missing two. I'm only missing Basculin and Dugong. So at some point they will be coming within the next two weeks or even playoffs if I have to, right? Like I, uh, mm -hmm. I, I saved, uh, Nachi Stack, Knackle Stack, whatever you want to call it. Um, I saved it for playoffs once of, uh, BBR and that's the playoff I lost. Oh my God. So, um... Good, good old Nachi stack. Good old Nachi. Ah, I love that mon. So cute. But like, anyway, it's a good one. that mon, uh, like, I, I love Gouging Fire. I love Band. Uh, I mean, I was talking, I think, I, I don't know if I talked to you a little bit more, but I also like speed boosting Band as well. So just like, uh, you know, you go your, you just go a little bit less attack and then you still hit with the, your fire moves are still insane, right? So like speed, right 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 yeah, yeah. So, get, get a little bit more bulk off of it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so speed boost band is insane with like the heat crash calcs are absolutely crazy so like this is a set i i love i would love to see you use this in future weeks as well this sets just freaking good. all right uzi gunner i'm coming for you <laughs> speed boost band there we go <laughs> hey man i don't know if he'll listen to this but this is really good into him too like <laughs> like legitimately very good so i mean it's a it's not a bad pick this you want to see a calc let's run a calc real quick why the hell not just to see, let's what's his water type? Azu, Psh, Azu, Shimazu. Let me see this real quick. All right, so we got the uh, only show imported calcs. We got gouging fire right there. We got Azumaro right here. Uh, let's just make it max HP. Cool. Uh, that's Flare Blitz, which is 120 base power, obviously. So there you go, 56 to 66. That's his switching. Max HP Azu and gets two a kill. But he got crash. a whole. He has a whole ass Deoxys defense. Uh, I, bro. You want to? Okay, okay, yeah. You go on, go on ahead, go on ahead, go on ahead. You're doing my, you're doing my footwork here for me. Hey man, that's Damn. that's not Damn. in sun. That's hey, not that's in sun. Not even in the sun. Damn. There you, there you go, buddy. Ah, full, I'm telling Ooh. you, I'm I'm telling you straight up. Ooh. This set is really nasty, and you get the the biggest thing is you get. The, oh, let's no, let's let's see the. Let's, there you go. Let's see, let's see another mod. Oh look, 84 to 99 percent to to that's defensive Paul, but he's gonna Jeez. run he's gonna run into speed and HP. Whatever. I'm just saying. This is the type of mod. That's why I was terrified of this mod. Because this mod, I actually think your it, son team's no, insane. It, it, it really is. No, you have to. I every everybody's like your son team's insane. I'm like, great, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I wasn't two and six, but yeah, or two and four, but we're doing great. Hey man, two one more games. Five. I don't even know where I'm at. One and five. There we go. Two more games to bring two it more back. Games. We'll finish up. We'll finish up three and five. Call it Hell a day. Yeah. That was a. That, I I believe, dude. Honestly, still one of the scariest son teams I've seen. Like legitimately. Like I, you I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a hard time not drafting it like net like you know if we uh, if we go back to regular tiering next yep. season yep. assuming this isn't banned I'm gonna have a hard time not grabbing this first if it's on the board it's been just super fun I mean just you know Dragon Dance is great uh, Band is great I'm gonna try out the speed boost set either against Kyler Uzi maybe both um, last week I ran Dragon Dance uh, Burning Bulwark against Gator yeah that was, it was that really was, nice that was just fun yeah. that was fun yeah. I mean it's good it, as hell. It, it, it's kind of it's kind of you know. A little one directional, but I I, I really enjoy it. I'm I mean, who cares if you hit hard? Uh, this yeah, and our no, child on, right. yeah, this wrong. and our child are the only two mons that I would literally draft a team with both of them and then draft like a Polyto plus Torco as my last two mons just to give me. I'm not even the rest of it won't even be weather, but just to give me the options for these two, <laughs> just to scare right. people, just to scare people because they're so freaking good. But yeah, dude, on, honestly, um, I tell people all the time, you're a very genuine person, uh, one of my favorite people out there, and everybody should really sub to Chase. He makes fantastic Aww. content. I love that you're experimenting with how to do your videos as well, which I think is really cool too. I agree that draft has not been solved when it comes to YouTube. Until, right. until it, it, everybody... it's, such a, it's such a, you know, uh, the, the people who've been here the longest, like all the viewers that are still watching this that just love just draft league content, just right into the veins. They, they, they watch no matter what. It's about trying to find new ways to broaden that audience yeah. you know i feel like um there's some other youtubers in the league right now that that are, are experimenting and i i want anybody listening not to think that we're trying to like alienate any viewers or do things differently to like push people away we're really trying to find a good mix between the the diehard fans that have have been here since since you know beginning gba wbe whatever ucl days they grew there were. up thank god 
exactly. Yeah, like everybody who started with us, uh, you know, we're trying to take it to to that next that next stage now, where it is, you know, we're trying to broaden the horizons. We're trying to get more people involved in draft league, not only viewers but battlers, and we're trying to experiment. So, yeah. you know, your feedback's always appreciated. You know, if Joey does something different in a in a video, and you like it, tell him. If you don't like it, tell him as well. Yeah, because legit. That's, yeah. That, it's how we get a good baseline for, like I said, broadening our audience, just making draft league as big as we can. I mean, the goal for me is to get people, everybody in the draft to get double digit uh, videos, like double. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, not like 99, but you know what I mean? He wants, he wants <laughs> everybody to have 99 views uh, and Joey wants to get 500K, man. I get it. He kicks them all they're down, six of them in draft. No, no, in, in, until everybody's hitting, until everybody's hitting, you know, 10K plus views. Of exactly, video. exactly. Or even, it, even 100K, always, 100K. And I know that we can get, we can get people in. We can get big creators and do things, but I also think our presentation can change. Like I love, I love my personal, I love my intros to this, but I can definitely break down my intro to be even better for you know, the new, more casual viewer as well. So like, there's there's exactly. so many things we can do. There's so many things we can do. I'm still thinking about it. I love that you're doing, I love what uh, Shady's doing as well. And I love that it's going well for him too. And I know one of his biggest fears was, I'm killing my channel with this, but luckily he isn't. <laughs> luckily Thankfully he isn't. we still got him. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, listen to what Chase just said. It's exactly how we feel right now. We're not trying to alienate people who do things. But, uh, but be, 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 be an adult about it don't go into a comment section and just start tearing somebody down because you didn't like an edit choice. Provide some constructive feedback. Yeah, constructive feedback is good. Because otherwise you just get muted, you just get you just get hidden from the channel, then yeah, you're we don't, into a black hole. And nobody cares, and everybody And we talk about you. you behind the scenes too. Yes. We talk about you on Discord. Yes. We're like, look at this guy, ha 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 Yeah, he's 100% yeah, right. That's, how do, you, how do you do this? How do you upload every day for years, <laughs> Joey? Because people that, are ever, that don't do anything constructive for me are gone. That's just it. Just immediately. I don't exactly. even. And it's not just me too. If you talk about other people that I'm very close with, and I oh, see yeah. it, and I see it. That's important. And I see. It. I don't see everything, but if I see it, it's on site. Absolutely, absolutely. Just let us know. Hey, we like this. Hey, I didn't like that, but I still appreciate the video. Hey, that lets me know either do something or not do something. Yeah, and that's the way, and really just the way it is. So, um, thank you everybody for listening. If you got this far, if you got this far. Um, Go subscribe to Chase, and so he better have you know, a couple couple thousand more subs. He's on his way to 50k end of the year. I'm on my way to 500k. So again, if you do enjoy, make sure you leave a like. He's doing two draft leagues because he's insane. I would never do two draft leagues in my life. Never again. Never. Never again. It never is. Again. It is so hard, it's dude. So, I have no. I have no. I've been thankful to be consistent enough to keep these videos up on a regular basis. I have. I drastically underwhelmed, underrated how much free time I'd have. I have none. So yeah. one draft league, one draft league a weekend moving forward. Yep. And that's it. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like, sub. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.